So I've talked in the past about what a good research plan can look like when you're preparing to launch a new product. Today, I figured we would talk a bit deeper about one of those research components that typically comes later on in the product research plan, the taste test. Now I could just talk you through the components for the test, but why not actually administer a taste test in real time so you can see the reaction from a respondent's point of view. With that, I'd like to introduce you to Otis. Say hi, Otis. So Otis will be playing the part of our respondent in which he'll be evaluating a new line of crackers that we're looking to launch in market this summer. So the way we typically do this is sometimes have our respondents read a short concept before they get into the tasting, but Otis can't read because he's a dog. So we'll just move right into the taste testing, okay, Otis? Okay, so you can go ahead and try the first cracker, Otis. All right. So Otis, on a scale of one to five, where five means definitely would buy and one means definitely would not buy, how likely would you be to purchase this product? A five, all right, he likes it. And how unique would you say this product is from similar products currently available? Five meaning extremely unique, one means not unique at all. Looks like he's got to think about this. Oh, he might be going to try to get more crackers. He gives it a five, all right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and have one more cracker, Otis? All right, good, so we just have one more, just one more cracker, Otis. All right, so we just have one more, uh, one more question for you. Hey. All right, Otis. So how likely would you be to recommend this product to a friend or family member, or in your case, another dog? 10 means extremely likely, and one means not likely at all. A 10, all right. That was great. Thank you so much, Otis, for taking the time today to try a new product. Best of luck in your new product research testing.